I'd like to demonstrate my mini leech jig imitation from Umqua Feather Merchants. The cool thing about this imitation is that it represents a leech in a jig form. It's a very effective fly tied on an XT500 series 60 degree jig hook. And I love the fact that the eye is extending out, not 90 degrees, but at 60 to give you a larger gap, allows you to penetrate the jaw more and keep more fish connected. I believe it's always leech season and the advantage to this fly is that it can be used and retrieved as a streamer. It can be hanging below a dry fly. It can be an anchor fly in a Euro rig or an indicator style nymph rig. Sky's the limit and it's available with Umqua on black and orange, black and purple, white and pink, rust on rust and olive on olive. Five different color schemes that can supply success in all the seasons throughout the course of the year. Now, starting off with this imitation, we're going to use orange this time. We're using a radiant slotted tungsten bead, again, on a 60 degree jig hook. And with ADOT black uni thread, I'm simply going to start the process and build up a nice smooth runway right behind the bead. I'm just basically building up a flat collar and at some point eventually stopping the bead from coming back and keeping it secure against the hook shank. It may take four or five times here, but once you build up that collar, I'm then going to extend back and placing the tag end up at an angle, get nice, smooth, uniform, symmetrical, clean wraps all the way towards the bend, stopping just above the hook point or the bar. I'll then at this point break off that thread, nice, clean and flush against the body. Now I want a little bit of flash on the body, but I don't want it to be overkill. So I'm going to use a piece of crystal flash. And I'm a fan of using Crystal Flash over Flashaboo because it gives it some sheen and shine, but it's not overkill. So I'm going to grab a piece of Crystal Flash about four to five inches. I'm going to bend that around the thread, elevate the thread up, and I'm going to slide this down to the hook shank. I'll then secure wrap back two or three times on this and secure wrap forward all the way towards the bead and then wrapping back and stopping. The advantage here is that when I secure wrap this, as I wrap the crystal flash forward, it's not going to twist all over the thread and the hook shank, it's gonna stay secure. So I'm then going to use my thumb and index finger, my dominant and non-dominant hand, and I'm simply going to secure wrap moving towards the bead, building up a nice clean body, a little bit of sheen and a little bit of shine. Once I do that seven, eight times, I'll then loose wrap once, loose wrap a second time, secure wrap twice, and I'll grab the tag end of Crystal Flash and I'm going to cut that flush right against the hook shank. Wrapping the thread back again towards the bead and back towards the bend, stopping right at the starting point of the Crystal Flash. I'll then come back with my favorite material now, and that is Micro Pine Squirrel. The first time I noticed this material, I simply fell in love with it. And in fact, this imitation came from a trip I took with John Barr up on the North Platte with Cowboy Drifters. And we were fishing slump busters, and at the end of the day, so many of the fish crushed the slump buster that we ended up having some of them where the wire broke. And then that rabbit would extend off the front or the eye of the hook, and it gave me a great idea in a smaller form and doing the same thing for a leech. So we're gonna grab one piece, about an inch to an inch and a half of the micro pine squirrel in black, I'm going to clean the skin on the front side to match the distance and the length of the collar. And again, you can mix and match this, create your own, but I'm trying to make sure I have about the same length from the starting point of crystal flash to the bead. Now, unlike my mini leech, I'm going to have the skin facing up away from the hook shank. And the reason I want this in the design is it slows the sinking ray down making this more effective below dry flies, but it also prevents fouling on the actual hook point or the gap of the hook. Now, once I get to this position, I'm simply going to do one loose wrap and then leave the material in place. And when I turned 18, I took a shower, all my hair fell out. So this is my excuse to work with a hairdo. So once that skin's placed up behind the hook shank, I also want to determine, make sure that material is not too close to the bead. I don't want to crowd the eye. Then I'm just gonna simply secure wrap, and if need be, you can always twist back and make sure I build up a nice, flat, smooth runway behind the bead. And by doing this, I then make sure that I can perform the next step in supplying the ostrich hurl. So you can see below, there's a little bit of flash extended out. 
The material is extended up and behind. I have a nice smooth runway built up behind the bead to make sure that everything's nice and secure. And then lastly, I'm going to come back with another great material I'm a huge fan of, and that is ostrich. Now, when you're using ostrich hurl, the unique part about this material is that it holds its form below the water surface, but it also has a lot of movement and breathability to it. So it's great for a collar, and in this situation, it's going to represent the head of the leech. Once I clean what I call the spine, the trick here is that we want to make sure the spine is facing the eye of the hook and the material is facing the bend of the hook. That way, when I supply one loose wrap to make sure this is the case, every wrap moving forward, I know that the material will flare out to the left towards the bend, and I'm going to have a nice, straight, tall collar. So at this point, using the thumb and index finger, I'm going to trade off. I'm going to build my collar, moving all the way towards the bead. Nice, clean, even wraps. And again, the goal here is to represent the head of the leech, and you're going to work this all the way up to directly behind the bead. Once I get to this point, I'm going to do one loose wrap. Then I'll grab the material, switch, and do secure wraps two or three times, making sure that I have that nice tall head, nice tall collar. I'll come back with the scissors, and I'm going to cut that tag in fairly close, make sure I don't have too many stragglers. Then I'll come back with the whip finish tool at this point. And I want to whip finish, making sure that all of my thread wraps are going right against the bead so it's clean on both sides. So I'm going to do two wraps. Secure it down, come back, two wraps. Secure it down, lift it up. And then below, I'm gonna grab the scissors and I'm gonna simply slice it like I'm slicing through bread. Make sure it goes nice and clean and flush against the hook shank. Nice, awesome looking collar. And then to complete this fly, I'm gonna take a small piece of wire and I'm simply gonna dip that into Loctite super glue so I get small droplets of, of super glue and I'm gonna place those directly behind the bead on top of the thread. Make sure everything's nice and clean on this side. If we have any stragglers like we do on this end, I can always cut those flush and clean. Once we do that and I have that super glue in place, I'm gonna do the same thing on the bend of the hook. And what I'm gonna do is grab another small piece of wire for the bend of the hook, get one drop of Loctite super glue, and I'm just gonna lift up the micro pine squirrel, place this right at the connection point of the crystal flash and the hook shank. Make sure you blow on that a little bit, allow it to dry. And the completed product is what you see there. The mini leech jig, black and orange, also represents an egg sucking leech. An awesome imitation, not only on dry flies and indicator rigs, but also used as a streamer. You can see just how well this thing moves through the water, how large the collar is, how it represents the head tapered thin, and it really does supply great movement. I hope it brings you all success on the water.